Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Neural Parasite, which is a survival horror game where you're trapped in a bunker full of zombie Nazis and must manually control each foot to move. February 8th, 1942, North Germany. I've been captured. They took me to some top secret bunker. They're about to perform some surgery on me. I don't know what it entails, but the people that I've gone through would never come back the same. I am in a box cell. Oh, it's unlocked. Convenient. Ugh, my head hurts like crazy. How long was I asleep for? What's happening out there? Why is the door open? Let's see if I can walk with this headache. Press on one of your shoes, a left, left mouse button to walk forward. Alternate which shoe is pressed to walk as efficiently as possible. So they actually based us on another game, which is funny enough. Not something they made, someone else. Uh, I don't think it was a horror game, though. I think it was just... Similar concept of clicking the shoes. Let's see if I can turn around. To turn, move your mouse cursor to either side of the game window. Press and hold left mouse button when a white arrow appears. Okay. We got this. Time to head out of here. Someone got, uh, sub-zeroed. I don't know what's happening, but I should escape while I have the chance. Have your mouse cursor over doors and press left mouse button when close enough to interact with them. Walking to unlock doors will automatically open them. Wow! Shit, it's blocked off. Need to walk back and look for another way out. Press on a shoe with the right mouse button to walk backwards. Alternate which shoe that's pressed to walk efficiently. You can really frankly just skip too. It's just faster to do it that way. A flashlight. I should pick it up. Have your mouse cursor over items and press left mouse button. Picked up a flashlight. We're gonna have company soon. Need to open that blast door. There should be a control room somewhere around here when I can, where I can open it. It's locked. The key should be nearby. Key's right there, along with other things. Can't open these. Be extra careful of the new prisoners. They have been exposed to the new process and may be highly volatile. Based on early testing, they possess strength orders of magnitude greater than earlier subjects. So make sure that a minimum of three people are present when relocating them. Alright. Wait. Get up a security room key. Just kick that door open. Is there gonna be a twist where, like, we're a monster too? That's why we have, like, the weird controls. Let's get out of here.
It's not like a horror game that had like a twist ending. Knife. I should pick up that knife. Knives will save you in dire situations. Grab as many as you can. Oh, so it's like a get out jail three card. One knife. You have one knife. We tried to stop him, but it was impossible. I've never seen such strength and aggression before. In the midst of it all, Frank was bitten and started attacking me. I panicked and stabbed him in his head. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, Frank. I should have the exit. I need to hurry and escape before anyone finds me. If only life was that easy, huh? Stop snoring! I can't get any sleep, you fracking moron. If I hear you snoring one more time, I will make sure you regret ever being born. Aside from that, this room is useless. Exit door key. What I feel, it's not be easy. There we go. They never take the knife back out. Use the exit door key to unlock the door. You okay? I need to grab that weapon. Maybe let's try this door first. Never mind. The guy on the ground may come to life later. Just because, you know, you know how zombie scripting works in these type of horror games. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, I got a spare knife. That was meant for him, but I know. No, no, no. There is a zombie down there. Yeah, shoot them in the head. 
Basic Revolver Handling Guide, Volume 1. Before you can learn to shoot and reload, you must first learn how to draw your revolver. Press right mouse button when your mouse cursor is over the game window. Draw your revolver. The same procedure is required to holster your revolver. It's important to note that you can't move when your revolver is drawn. Use this information wisely, of course. To the fire your revolver, you must first make sure that your revolver is drawn. Don't forget... Yeah, you gotta have the gun out to shoot the gun. Once your revolver is drawn, place your mouse cursor over the game window. If you've done it correctly, there is a crosshair will appear. Aim the crosshair at the target you want to shoot, and then press left mouse button to shoot. Shooting forbid you may notice you can't shoot anymore. That's because you're out of ammo and need to reload. When your revolver is drawn, you will see a cylinder below the game window. The cylinder has six holes, some may be loaded, some may be empty. Press on an empty hole with the left mouse button to load it if you have any spare ammo. The amount of spare ammo you can have can be seen under the cylinder. To remove used bullets from the cylinder, simply press the left mouse button on them. That should be all for this volume. If I'm teaching teach you some cool tricks you can do with a revolver. Hope you look forward to it. Now go out there and practice what you've learned. Now I can probably defend myself against those creatures. Does it come loaded or no? Does it not. Now, they want you to, to practice shooting him, and then maybe... Okay, I was trying to see if we can just, you know, forget doing that. Hey, buddy. Does this matter where I am? Probably not. Let's try it. Yeah. As long as the crosshair is hitting while wow, they, uh... Take some ammo. Because we got that spare knife. I'm not even gonna bother looking to the left, I'm just gonna get in here and get this ammo. Yeah. So, take note of this, we will come back if we expend ammo. Because you cannot carry much. Now, as I was saying... Huh? Crap, you- no I can't. Three out of four bullets. So there's one left in there. Yeah, we're definitely going back for the rest of it. Yeah, every shot counts. Yeah. Nice. Six rounds. That's two zombies worth, plus the four. Any ammo in here, buddy? Just a letter. Useless. I can't take this anymore, this cramped space. I must return to the surface. If you don't let me out soon, then I will go crazy. This room is useless. It's a zombie room. Zombies.
Knife. Two more bullets in there. Coming down the stairs. Gotta take it out. It's blocking. I'll go back. I think I almost have a full set of ammo. Key. In actuality, I should have not gone back, and here's why. Because I'm probably not going to come back to this area, or if I do, it's a longer walk now. Well... I guess I am going back. Thank you for giving me an excuse to use my ammo early. If we feel like we're tight on ammo, we can always, uh, use a knife. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting around you. Whoa, 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 whoa! He's got two for one there. I don't know about this game. Let me see. I'm gonna try to see if there's any more gimmicks they're gonna introduce. Like, will they introduce another weapon? Or is it like, the revolver and the, the walking is like the, the main gimmick, like this is it? Huh, funny how you've given me the exact ammo count to fill my, uh... More of them coming. I missed some shots there. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no, honestly, I, I just was not looking. I was just. I heard noise and just. Yeah, I'll just click down this way. I'll probably hit. I'm just gonna take the knife. It's fine because we got that one spear knife from earlier. So it evened out, in a way. They expected you to use all your ammo here. So, if I didn't miss those two shots, you would have. You would basically have an empty revolver. An elevator. It should take me closer to the surface. Let's see if that button still works. I don't like this. 
I don't like this one bit. Feels like it's gonna be a defense situation. Sure feels like it. Pick the uh, ones up on the sides rather than the middle. Because your defense, I'm assuming you'd be pushed to the back. So, it's better to have the ammo, you know, up front used than the uh, ones in the uh, front there. I mean, the ones in the back, rather. Incoming! Shut, the alarm went off. I prepare myself. The alarm may attract some of those creatures. Just to hold right here. No Russian, no rushing us. Just take my time. That was a wasted shot. Back her up a little. And we'll take you out. It's finally opening. Time to get out of here. So I said one wasted shot. Okay. Okay. What happened here? What is that red stuff? I, mean, I saw it earlier. So, if you didn't miss a shot, here's another example. You would have this full, and you'd have a never set to kill at least one more zombie worth. But now we're we're off off our count. Uh, these are eggs. These are eggs. Well, at least I die in one shot. <laughs> Waste. Zombies take more shots. I don't know if you even have health in this game. You might die instantly if you get caught without a knife. I'm worried that some of the ones behind me will... pop. I'm taking, like, micro-steps. Kill one more of them until I get that ammo. Oh, 
Ah. Waste of ammo, then. It's because when you shoot them, they, they bounce. Now they're gonna mix in the flies with the zombie? No, we escaped. The has the exit, I'm finally free! Are we? The whole world's gonna be zombified. I finally escaped. Must warn the others of the horrors I've experienced. Hopefully it's not too late. The end. No, no, it's fine. If you're playing this weird little experiment of a game, hopefully you enjoyed some parts of it. So, that's it for Neural Parasite. Uh, the original game, I think it was called Car Game that this is based off. It's created by Paper Cookies, I believe his name is. Um, the, the guy who played made uh, No Players Online, uh, Cold Line, quite a few games I've played. But that was not a horror game, this one is. That one was a, uh, a driving, just kind of like a quirky game, I, I best, best way to describe it. So this is another interesting kind of micro trend, which is the limited control horror game, and there's variations of this done. Uh, there's been some where, you know, you don't have legs. There's others where other limbs are kind of restricted. Um, and sometimes it's just a very unique control scheme or limitations or things like that. Like, there's not a lot of them, but they're there. And I think they work pretty well enough in the concept of the uh, indie horror game. They're not things you'd want, like, a whole really long multi-hour game with. Because then your gimmick kind of overstays its welcome. But for, like, short micro games or maybe, like, an hour-ish tops, I think they're pretty fun. They're, like, a little bit of a mix-up. Because the way you control horror games is actually part of horror games. It's always been a big debate about things and the, uh, the ease controls of some modern horror games. So that little bit of intrusiveness does add some, like, fun of layers. But yeah, anyway. So thank you all for watching play Neural Parasite. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.